bring you closer to the FCT with our correspondent in the field, Eridiong Ibanga, who was at the site of an explosion. We're looking to get more details as to what the cause is and if there are any casualties, along with emergency response efforts. Hello, Edidion. Good morning to you. Can you hear us? Yes, Vito, we can hear you. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the program. Kindly tell our viewers where you are specifically and what the situation update is. Okay, I am live fashion daily too. And um, as I left today, there was a dark explosion here at this site. At this site, and so many people it was um, a CNG explosion. But it occurred that it was a, um, a cooking gas explosion, not a CNG explosion. Wow. Uh, at the moment, are there any emergency responders on site? Is there any site of NEMA there? FEMA as well? At the moment, we don't have any emergency response team. Because as I left today, the fire service came here, but the, um, the aggressive residents refused them entrance to the site. Because they came 30 minutes late, um, later than the, the, the eventuality, so they were not granted access to the site. So as it stands now, we don't have any emergency, emergency, um, um, emergency body here. All right, Edidion, just stand by. Let's also carry our viewers along because we have all the images greeting the screen. Now, and for our viewers at home, these images are from amateur clips that were posted on social media when the explosion occurred yesterday, much like Edidion has corroborated. And she says it is not a CNG explosion. It is from possibly a cooking gas explosion. And Edidion also, arriving the site yesterday, provided more videos using her mobile phone where we can see the inferno raging and uh, first responders are doing their best to put out the fire. Edith Young, uh, you're, you're letting us know that at this time there was no fire service and these persons who are making frantic efforts then decided to turn away eventual responders when they came. I don't know if I'm correct. Yes, you're very correct. At this point, there was no fire service um, team on spot. So the residents had to set up to um, 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 take off the fire by themselves. So when the fire service team came here, they were agreed and refused them entrance to the place. They refused them entrance now, to the we're, place. Now, we're getting footages of you now, and although your visual is a little bit static, we'll try and make the best of this conversation. So far, so good. We can see several shops burnt. But do you know if there are any persons who might have sustained injuries or outrightly some fatalities? You are trying to fill the gas and the uh, and the first meeting to buy the gas. The first them several send them several injuries. Cost of alarm when it comes to death, no death record at all. And now, whilst the fire service responders were not granted access, do you know if there are any police officers there to also give a police report? No, the police officers who came to the site, they stood, um, they stood like they were distant from the site. They didn't come into the, into the place. They just stood like apart from the place. So they didn't come in. Wow. This is quite a development and uh, it's at this point in the show that we also appeal to our viewers. I know a lot of persons might be aggrieved by the situation of things in the country, but in the incidents where we have those embodied and empowered by law responding no matter how late, it is also important that we allow those responsible with our safety to make findings to see if there are still persons trapped or the, assess the extent of damage. Now, Nadine Young, we're going to be staying with this story and finding more developments. And if possibly, if you can speak to some persons who own property around there that have lost their property to the fire. Uh, we'll give you a while to see if you can get any persons who are willing to talk to us. Okay, sorry, with regards to that, we start speaking to residents and uh, people who have shops that have refused speaking about the incident. Oh, oh, okay, then uh, let's also keep our eyes out for more reports coming your way in a bit. We thank you for updating us on this developing story. We'll be staying with it through the course of the morning show. Okay, thank you, Bito. You're welcome, Edidion.